Hey guys, welcome to AKTV Studios, the new and improved Andrew Colden TV. Andrew, your host, here with a tutorial on how to clone your very own existing operating system of Linux into a virtual disk image to be used with VirtualBox or VMware. So, to start this tutorial, I was actually lucky enough to have a few hard drives available. I used this 250GB Seagate drive and I installed Ubuntu 18.10 on it. I decided to insert a blank document with the following text of, I'm becoming a virtual machine. Whenever I clone this into the virtual disk image, we should be seeing this exact same thing on that as well. Let us start by taking out that hard drive of the Linux operating system and we're going to be putting it into our desktop computer. Now find an empty slot and stick it in. Now I personally am going to be using my own Mac tower with Windows 10 installed. I actually like this case simply because the hard drives come in and out with ease. Now the screws are actually attached to the hard drive which connects to the bay adapter which slide in and out. It definitely makes things easy, especially if you're constantly swapping out hard drives. Once you're done inserting your hard drive, it is time to boot up the computer. And we will be continuing this video onto your desktop computer. Alright guys, on your desktop computer, we're going to be right clicking on our start menu and going to disk management. Now once that menu is opened up, we are be going to check to see if our Linux hard drive has been detected. According to this, my hard drive is detected. I see that I have 232 GB and we're going to be going to disk management actions on the right toolbar and going to create a virtual hard drive image. Now I'm going to be naming mine LabRat Ubuntu and we're going to be clicking save. Since my hard drive is going to be 250 gigabytes, I'm going to go ahead and do 260 gigabytes just to be safe. I'm going to leave the settings as the default and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now my computer is currently in the process of creating our virtual disk image. Now it'll be a while so I'm going to go ahead and skip to the part where it finishes. Now we're going to go ahead and see if our virtual disk image has been created. I see that it is and that the space is unallocated which means it has not been used. We're going to go ahead and minimize that window and we're going to be downloading and installing mini tool wizard partitioner. Now since I already have mine installed I'm going to go ahead and open mine. Now it may take a little bit just to get it up and running but we're going to be going to our disk clone. It's a nice little tool inside this little program. Now we're going to go ahead and go through it and be clicking next. Now we're going to be selecting our disks that we want to be copied over. Now mine is going to be disk 2 which should be 232 gigabytes, also known as my Linux operating system. Now our virtual is going to be my disk 3. This is the one that I created and we're going to be clicking next and I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, as the settings as the default and I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Now all I have to do is click apply the changes and wait. And in just a moment we will see that the, the cloning process has been completed and finished. Now we can see that they both have Extinction 14 and they both have used 4%. Now, this pretty much concludes this part of this tutorial, and stay tuned for another part.